Chances are, if you googled how to pull an IP or something along those lines, you ran into one of two programs, either LANC Remastered or OctoSniff. Now, both of these programs actually are what you call IP sniffers. Basically, what they do is they analyze the network traffic and allow you to pull IPs from that network traffic. This is a method some hackers use to actually pull people's IP addresses over online gameplay like Xbox or PlayStation or something like that. However, this method is actually slightly outdated. See, most games nowadays are being built with features that actually mask your IP, but there's actually quite a bit of people that still use these programs. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be actually looking at both of these programs, messing with them a little bit, and then I'm going to give you my full and honest opinion on both of them. As a little disclaimer, this is for educational purposes only. I'm not encouraging you to go out and pull IPs in this video, okay? So, you know, be careful with what you learn in this video. And that being said, let's look at LANC Remastered or Lance Remastered, we're just gonna be calling it today. Let's look at that one first, alright? So here's a landing page for Lance Remastered. And let me tell you, if you got this program anywhere else from any other website, you need to scan your computer right now. This is the only place that you should be getting Lance Remastered from, all right, is lanc-remastered.com. A lot of people like to put their own little viruses in Lance Remastered or their copy of it wherever you might have got it from, all right? But as you're gonna see real fast whenever we click download right here, you're gonna notice that there's like uh, 14 different versions of this, all right? Hold on. See, we got Lance Remastered. Lance version 2 and Lance version 3, which is the new 2020 edition. But you're about to get a real hacker's opinion, all right? This one sucks. This one sucks. This is the only one that works for me, and it has the least amount of bugs, all right? But if you are going to set up and use Lance Remastered, you do need to download one thing, and that is WinPCAP. So there will be a link in the description for both of these, obviously. But let's check out WinPCAP. So all you have to do is go to win10pcap.org, right there. Now, if you are going to be using any packet analyzer like Wireshark right here in the photo on the website, you're going to need Win10 PCAP. It's just like drivers for your network card, all right? So just click download right here and then set that up. But all right, back to Lance. L-A-N-C. This is the only version of it we're going to be using. Um, uh, if you want to download it, you're just going to have to scroll around for a bit here. Look, okay, here's the download section. It says that's a source code. Um, download Lance Remaster. Here, there we go. There we go. So now all we're gonna do is click download Lance V2. See, look, there's so many different versions of this. Why you can you just like update one thing and not release every every new version? I digress. Download Lance V2 because you know it's just the best. And once you have it downloaded, you're just gonna extract it to your desktop like this, like any other program, and you know just open it up. And let's see what we got to work with. So we got Lance V2.exe. You know this is safe. You can run it. And this is actually your IP puller right here. Now, assuming you downloaded everything else and set it up correctly, every, by everything else, you know, I mean <laughs> WinPCAP 10. But assuming you set it up correctly, you're going to want to go over to this place right here. This is where uh, your network adapter is going to go. So the chip inside your computer that actually allows your computer to connect to the Wi-Fi network, you're going to be selecting that. For me, I'm selecting this one. I don't know why there's like a million. This is ridiculous. I think this is all the virtual machines I have, but I'm just gonna be selecting this one. And yeah, in order to actually do the IP pulling with this, all you're gonna have to do is, uh, if you wanna filter, you can. This thing is basically just the, you know, the green lines and Lance Remastered. So yeah, basically Lance Remastered is just a remastered version of this. This one just doesn't look as pretty. It just works better, so I like it, okay? But we're not gonna be using the filter right now, but um, if you are gonna be using the filter, say you have your Xbox or your uh PlayStation, whatever you want. Say you have one of those, all right? So you want to pull IPs on it. What you're going to do is you're going to uh, hit the Windows key and then press R at the same time. So it brings this up and then just type CMD. Now, if I type IP config and then I hit enter, you're going to see that every computer on your network has an IPv4 address. For me, it's 10.0.0. And then depending on which device is connected to the network, these last three numbers of that IP address is going to change. This is basically how your router knows which device is which. So go on your Xbox or your PlayStation and find out what the IP address of that device is. And then once you're done, you're going to put what's called a default gateway. This right here, what the, this right here is your default gateway. Notice how they both got 10.0.0. That's good. Your default gateway is just essentially your router's IP. So it's always going to have a dot one right there. Always, 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 always going to have a dot one. Now what you're going to do with this is you're going to take your 10.0.0.1 and you're going to put it at the source IP. So, and by the way, for you, that actually might look like uh, 192.168.0.1. 
or 172. It might look something different, but yeah. Generally, how you can tell is this right here is all gonna be the same for every device, the first three numbers. But once you find out what your PlayStation's IPv4 address is, this is my laptop, so that's why it's 179. I don't actually have a PlayStation, so I'm just gonna put this in there. We're gonna be pulling the IPs coming in and out of my laptop. Put it in the destination, and then just click start. And once you click start, I apparently don't have any inbound outbound connections going on right now, but once you click start, this is where you'd see the list of IPs that are connected to your game, right? There's not going to be no username like next to it. It's not going to be anything like that. You're going to have to kind of guess. This is what these hackers do. They kind of like guess what your IP is and then just threaten you with it, right? Sometimes they'll knock everybody out of a lobby until it's like just you or they'll just go they're crazy man they'll do, they'll do whatever but yeah this is the entire lanc application that's basically how it works you can go play around with all three of those i'm um, just trying to get you to understand it a little bit don't go out and do this is not me saying go out and pull ips you could just play around with it on your home connection if you want see how it works this is the stuff that i find interesting right if all these numbers and stuff they wouldn't be that interesting if you couldn't do stuff like this okay but just being able to know how to do it that's enough for me never act upon it now if this scares you <laughs> I get it, okay? I get it. It could be really terrifying to be able to pull IPs out of thin air, all right? And now I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret, okay? Making sure the hackers aren't around for this one. But you could actually protect your IP address with NordVPN. NordVPN offers strict no-log policy, so that means everything that you do under NordVPN is invisible. NordVPN could also prevent you from being the victim to these kinds of attacks. If you don't want somebody finding out where you live or finding out your IP address online during a game, your answer is NordVPN. If you want your IP address and your network traffic to be encrypted every single time you log onto your machine, your answer is NordVPN. You've been hungry and you can't afford a cheeseburger? Your answer is NordVPN. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but yeah, anyways guys, NordVPN is a great VPN that offers a strict no-log policy and you'll be able to actually mask your IP to avoid these kinds of attacks with it. NordVPN always has some good deals going on, so why don't you go check them out in the link in the description below and use discount code Veraxity. You always gotta hide your IP address whenever you're doing anything online. It doesn't even matter if you're playing games, there's people out there that make programs to snipe people that are playing games. It's crazy. Anyways, yeah, let's talk about OctoSniff now. So the thing about OctoSniff is that it is actually closed source and you have to pay money in order to get OctoSniff. I want to clear something up with you guys and that's, you know, I'm never going to be the one to pay money for a program like OctoSniff, alright? This is because it's closed source and Lance Remastered or all those Lance programs, you know, that we just talked about, all those Lance programs are actually open source. So you can see and modify, edit, do whatever you want with the source code of those programs. So it is proven to be, you know, safe to run. OctoSniff is not because it's closed source and you'd have to, you know, decompile the program. You'd have to basically spend your life reverse engineering the program in order to get anywhere near the source code of OctoSniff. However, in videos like this one, you can see OctoSniff looks like it has some insane features. Like, I can see here there is a username list for the IPs that it pulls. And in all reality, it's just entirely up to you if you want to spend the money on OctoSniff or if you don't, you know what I mean? Now, as another disclaimer, you would only be able to get this program in order to be using it on yourself and your home network. I do not support the act of pulling somebody's IP address over an online game. But yeah, that's just my honest opinion, you know, I would never be the one to buy OctoSniff or anything like that. In my opinion, you should stick to Lance Remastered if you were gonna get one of these programs or something and start messing with it just because it's free. You could modify the code if you're into that. If you're a coder, you could, you know, add your own features and stuff like that. You could really beef up this program. But that about brings me to the end of the video, guys. If you like this video, why don't you give it that thumbs up, smack the heck out of that like button, and hit subscribe because I've noticed that 82% of you are not subscribed. But anyways, guys, my name is Veraxity, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.